Whether you are a cafeteria line server, certified master chef, dishwasher in the food service department of a hospital, or maybe you just cook at home, being trained in kitchen safety is something that will benefit you. Wet floors, knives, steamers, mixers, slicers, grinders, dishwashing machines, hot surfaces, and fryers are just a few of the potential hazards present in a kitchen setting. With so much going on and so many opportunities for accidents and injuries to occur, you must always be aware. This is especially true when the lunch or dinner rush is on. This safety program will discuss a variety of topics that are or could become safety hazards in the kitchen. Slips and falls, proper lifting, fire safety, burns, electrical, chemicals, knives, personal protective equipment, housekeeping, and first aid training. Besides the inherent dangers posed by various pieces of equipment, other factors that contribute to accidents and injuries include lack of proper training, a young workforce, approximately 20% of food service employees are teenagers and they lack employment experience, constant employee turnover, Food service employment is often a second job and fatigue can be a factor. Working in very close proximity to others due to small work areas and multiple workstations. Employees operating multiple pieces of equipment simultaneously. Often working at a hurried pace due to strict time constraints. Slips, trips and falls are typically the number one cause of accidents and injuries in the food service industry. Slippery items such as water, soap, grease and oils are standard in most kitchen settings. Food items dropped on the floor can be very slippery and dangerous. Food prep trays, warming carts, dirty dish carts and prep items such as an ill-placed box can become tripping hazards and cause one to fall. Prevention of a slip, trip, or fall can be as simple as slowing down and taking the extra few seconds to work safely. Make sure your work area is properly lit. Low illumination can cause you to not see the hazards. Replace burned out bulbs immediately. Immediately mark all spills. After marking, clean up the spill. Keep floors clean. Sweep often. Pick up items dropped on the floor. Clean grease and oil spills with appropriate cleaner. Kitchen waste materials should be kept in containers with tight fitting lids. Designate an area for these containers. Whenever possible, use non-slip floor mats and wear appropriate non-slip footwear. Food service employees are often required to lift heavy boxes, pans, and other items which can cause back injuries. Additionally, the heavy object being lifted or carried can also be extremely hot. This can be very dangerous. All employees should know the proper way to lift and carry items. Proper lifting techniques are simple to follow. Plan ahead. Know where you are going and how you intend to get there. Bend at the knees and keep your back straight. Keep feet shoulder width apart. Tighten the abdominal muscles. Lift with the legs. Lift the object close to the body. Carry object close to your body. Use a cart when possible to move items, especially with hot or heavy items. Use appropriate hot pads when necessary. If you need help with an object, ask someone. Never try an overlift. Posture is very important to maintaining a healthy back. Food service employees are typically on their feet most of their work shift. While standing, do not slouch with your back bent. Keep your back straight, 
shifting weight from leg to leg every few seconds. Hold shoulders slightly back and keep chin, abdomen, and buttocks tucked in. Shift your position frequently. Raise one foot on a stool or step when standing stationary for long periods of time. Due to the nature of the work environment, the potential for a kitchen fire is great. Cooking over open flames and with extreme heat is a dangerous fire hazard if proper safety rules and techniques are not followed. Gas burners, grills, and grease fires are just a few of the possible sources of fire in the food service area. Some simple fire prevention and safety rules include Follow user guidelines for all equipment. Read the manual or ask your supervisor if you don't understand. When heating oil or grease, pay close attention. Never leave it unattended. Prepare food items according to cooking instructions and recipes. Know the location of fire extinguishers and how to use them. If a grease fire occurs, never throw water on it. To extinguish grease fires, use an appropriate fire extinguisher or cover the fire with a fire blanket or wet cloth and turn the power source off. Never carry a pan that is on fire. Smoke only in designated areas. Properly mark all exit doors with appropriate signs. Never pile boxes or other material in front of an exit door. The kitchen provides a variety of ways in which you can get burned. From cooking over an open flame to using a steamer or deep grease fryer, the possibilities are constantly present. To prevent a burn, you must be vigilant at all times. Allow steam to escape from steamers before completely opening the doors. On cooked items, remove film, aluminum foil, and covers from far corners and sides to allow steam to escape away from your hands and body. Never place any type of container, especially liquid, above a deep grease fryer where it could accidentally be knocked into the grease. If the liquid contacts the grease, hot oil will spray everywhere and the liquid will turn to steam instantly. Use oven mitts and gloves to remove items from an oven or stovetop. Make sure they are dry and free of defects. Wet mitts and gloves can cause steam burns. Never place containers of extremely hot liquids near the edge of a table where they can be easily knocked off. Avoid leaving hot items unattended on countertops or other areas where they can be knocked off. Always warn others that the contents may be hot and not to touch. Many food service employees leave a hot pad or mitt on the lid as a warning to others. Turn pan handles in, but not over adjacent burners, so that they cannot be caught by someone walking by and pulled onto the floor or themselves. Steam tables, food warmers, grease fryers, steam kettles, ovens, and other kitchen equipment pose a burn threat. Use extreme caution at all times when working around these items. Electricity can be a very dangerous thing in the kitchen. Common sense and attentiveness will help prevent fires and shock. Never use electrical appliances near a sink. Inspect cords regularly for cuts, breaks, or frayed areas and do not use appliances if damage is found. Take the equipment out of service and have it repaired by a certified technician before using. All electrical equipment should be properly grounded Portable electrical equipment and extension cords must have a ground prong. Never use adapters that allow multiple pieces of equipment to be plugged into one outlet. Never use three to two prong adapters which essentially disable the ground protection of the cord set or equipment. Install ground fault circuit interrupters, GFCI switches, to protect against shock. Many chemicals are used in food service areas. Bleach, dish soap, disinfectants, sanitizers, and other liquids or sprays are just a few of the possible chemicals found in the kitchen. Employees who work with or near chemicals need to understand the procedures necessary to protect themselves. 
Before using any chemical, always read the label. Make sure you are adequately protected by using the appropriate personal protective equipment. Keep chemicals in a secure area away from food and extreme temperatures. Never store chemicals in the same area as food storage and prep areas. Never mix chemicals, as this could cause harmful gases and or explosions. Test for carbon monoxide on a regular basis. You may want to install a carbon monoxide detector for the food service and preparation areas. Safety data sheets are required for every chemical used and must be accessible at the worksite at all times. The safety data sheet is a 16 section detailed informational bulletin prepared by the manufacturer or importer of a chemical. The safety data sheet provides information on the chemical, warnings, and appropriate personal protective equipment needed to work with the chemical. For consumer products such as window cleaner, toilet bowl cleaner, and dishwashing liquid, when used in the same manner and with the same duration and frequency that a normal household consumer would use them at home, employees should follow the safety guidelines printed on the container. Employees should take training seriously and pay attention. Make sure you know the correct emergency procedures and use safe work habits when dealing with chemicals. There are many sharp and dangerous items in the kitchen. If not properly handled or operated, such items can cause great harm. A finger can easily be sliced right off when using a slicer to cut deli meats. You might need five or six stitches if you cut your finger instead of the veggies on the cutting board. It only takes one second to look away and then disaster hits. All slicers, grinders, and processors must have machine guards. Never disable or remove the guard. If the machine is lacking a guard, don't use it. Pay attention to the job at hand when using any sharp tool, knife, or slicer. Never use your hand to hold or guide food items through a slicer. Always use the guide on the machine and keep your hand on the guide handle. Never reach into a slicer area when the slicer is on or plugged in. Turn the blade to the zero position before removing any sliced food item. Keep blades sharp. A dull edge is much more dangerous than a sharp edge. Sharp edges will slice and cut with much less force than a dull edge. If you happen to lose your grip when cutting and you are having to exert a lot of pressure, the resulting cut will typically be much worse. Keep knife blades pointing down when walking. Never place knives in a drawer. Use a wood block, magnetic holder, or other safe means for storing knives. Never try to catch a dropped knife. Let it fall to the ground. Never put knives in a sink. Wash the knife immediately and store it appropriately. When cutting with a knife, keep fingers out of the way and use your knuckles as guides. Always use a cutting board. Never cut on a metal table, glass, or other non-suitable surface. Wear special mesh gloves when cutting or slicing. It is important to wear the proper clothing and protective gear in the kitchen. Aprons, hot pads, oven mitts, gloves, and other protective equipment will help keep you from being harmed in the event of an accident. It is also important to wear the right clothing and remove all jewelry before working. Management approved work shoes must be worn. Hair should be pulled up and secured with hats or nets to keep from being caught in mixers, washers, and such equipment. A clean work area is a safe work area. Never get in such a rush that you forget to follow basic housekeeping rules. Always keep your own work area clean. Keep items picked up off the floor. Immediately mark spills and then mop or sweep them up. Replace trash can liners before they overflow.
sweep work and walk areas often. Never run cords across walkways. It is important that you know where all first aid kits are located. Someone should know basic first aid during each work shift and who to contact in an emergency. If necessary, talk to your supervisor about the need for someone to be trained. Report all accidents and injuries immediately to your supervisor, no matter how minor they may seem. If you cut yourself, clean the area with cold water. Apply a clean towel to the cut and keep it raised above your heart. If the bleeding does not stop or the cut is deep, seek medical attention. If you burn yourself, apply cold running water to the area. It is important to remove the heat from the burn to reduce blistering. Do not attempt to remove clothing as this will damage the skin more. Seek a cold shower or bath to wet down your clothing. Get medical attention immediately. As a general rule, it is always best to have a medical professional look at any cut, burn, or other injury that is of a more severe nature. Additionally, food service employees should be trained in the Heimlich maneuver to prevent choking incidents from causing severe injuries. This training program was an introduction to food service and kitchen safety. Some basic rules and guidelines were given to help you work safely in the kitchen. Slow down, be attentive, and follow the rules. At the end of the day, you'll be glad you did.